Hi, I'm Nancy Golden and welcome to the House of Gifts. How is giftedness defined? If you don't have a formal definition, you may think of giftedness as an individual whose IQ or intelligence quotient as being super duper high. Albert Einstein is one of the first people who we think of when we think of giftedness. Albert Einstein has been studied, revered, and idolized by people all over the world. Now, most recently, as early as October 2014, there was a report about an 11-year-old black boy from Loom Grove, Rumford in the United Kingdom who scored higher than both Albert Einstein and Bill Gates on an intelligence test. Wow. So, we use standardized assessments to determine the academic levels of children in school. We need those assessments to help us gauge the strengths and weaknesses of children in reading and math. And the information is also helpful because it, it helps us to determine the types of interventions that might be necessary to ensure success for every child engaged in the learning process. So, since we rely so heavily on intelligence tests, I want you to know that the intelligence quotient ranges in numbers. So the average and above average person's intelligence ranges from an 89 to a 129. Those who are gifted or highly gifted, their IQs range from a 130 to a 159. And if you are 160 and above, then you're a genius. Your IQ is through the moon, just like Albert Einstein. You would be considered Albert Einstein smart. Now, what about the rest of us? If you're like me, my IQ is average. It ranges between an 89 and a 129. So what happens to people like me? Are we just chopped liver? <laughs> I think not. I think we have to start looking at other types of smarts, other types of intelligences, not just the mental intelligences. We are complex beings. Listen to this. I believe that God has given all of us some type of way to be really smart. He has given us gifts. And he has given us gifts because he loves us. We haven't earned them. We can't work hard for them. They are given to us because God loves us. Now, what is your gift? What has God deposited in your soul and spirit? Spirit that needs to come out, that needs to be shared with everybody so we can balance this world. Think about it. What makes you unique and separates you from everyone else? That's probably your gift. Until next time, I'm Nancy Golden and this has been the House of Gifts.